right, hey guys, good morning. Welcome to another Monday Morning Minute here at Green Dynamics Nursery. We're here on another balmy yet warm uh, fall day. Uh, now when you guys see this on Monday morning, a lot of you will have temps in the uh, low 40s to high 30s. And today we're gonna talk all about berries for another welcome to fall edition of the Monday Morning Minute. Now, uh, we might also call this Frank's Fun Facts. Um, and you guys don't tell anybody, but some of the people around here call it Freaky Frank's Fun Facts. And just between you and me, a lot of times we do this on Friday, so you could add another F, Freaky Frank's Fun Facts on Friday. But again, just between you and me. All right, so today we're gonna talk about berries, like we mentioned, and specifically bushes with berries. Uh, most of these are natives and they're evergreens. Um, so when you think about that and the season we're coming up on with, uh, you know, deck the halls with balls of holly, you kind of get the picture. All right, I know it's a little early. We just got through uh, that other holiday with the ghosts and stuff and the other holiday with turkeys coming, but all right. So we're gonna talk about hollies. And like I said, uh, pretty much all hollies have berries. Some of them are different colors, um, almost, um, all of them uh, produce the berries in the fall, and a lot of them you will see the flowers in the spring. All right, over here on the left, we're going to start with Ilex upright. It's a native. Um, you can see it has a very upright habit. Um, this particular one is, is a, a youngling, a youngster, so you don't see any berries on this one. We'll try to get you some shots of that. So this is upright Ilex. Um, it also does have a twin cousin called uh, Weeping Ilex. Now I don't know why it's sad, um, but I wish you all would use it some more. It probably wouldn't be as sad. Uh, makes a nice uh, focal point off the corner of a building. Uh, next we're going to go to another Ilex, uh, maybe a little less no well known. Uh, again, a native. Um, now there is a dwarf form of this that's going to be a little fuller, and this is Inkberry Holly. As you can see here, the berries are very dark or black, almost like ink, and thus its name. Now this next one is not a holly, uh, and we've covered this before in another Monday Morning Minute, but this is Beautyberry, and as you can see, it is a beauty, y'all. Got these nice purple berries in here. Super cool color for fall. All right, moving on to another Ilex. This is our friend Schilling's Holly. It is a dwarf. It is a relative of the upright and the weeping holly that we saw earlier. Um, now on this one, there's a couple of different forms. One I bet you haven't heard of. Um, this is the regular, as I said, dwarf Schilling's Holly. Uh, there is another one called Bordeaux, and the Bordeaux comes from the uh, reddish flush that you'll see on the tips of the leaves. Uh, now, another one I bet you haven't heard of is called Taylor's Rudolph. Yes, that's right, another Christmas reference. That one's very hard to find, and that one is the one that does have berries. So just remember, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, I'll try to stop the singing for the rest of the show. Um, next, we're going to go to a Nandina, or Heavenly Bamboo. This particular variety here, you don't see the berries, but some of the older varieties uh, do have them. Um, so if you look for that, and speaking of bamboo, since we've also been talking about holidays, you all have to put up with the Frank Dad joke. So do you guys know why the ghost was afraid to go into the garden? You don't? Okay. Well, it's because he was afraid of the bamboo. Okay, I know, corny. But um, boom I'll be here all week. All right, moving on to another Ilex. Uh, we've got a dwarf Burford holly. Emphasis on dwarf, y'all. Don't just ask for a Burford, because the regular old-fashioned one that you don't hear about gets to be really big. Even dwarf Burford, if you don't trim it, will get big. And it does have red berries on a more mature variety. Uh, similar to these would be needlepoint holly, or uh, even carissa hollies, or even rotunda holly, which you don't see much anymore because the leaves are so barbed. You can see behind us we have Ilex Dahoon holly. Some people also have a variety of this called Tensaw Holly. You can see it could make quite a focal point. Most of them are kept trimmed kind of pyramidally. Um, again, these are somewhat younger specimens and are growing quickly, so they do not have berries on them right now, but we will try to get you some shots of those. Other things that uh, we're not able to have in this shot, uh, but we'll try to get you some breakaways 
of that do have berries, uh, barberry, a lower growing shrub, somewhat for more of our northern customers. Even dogwoods, that's right, dogwoods have a red seed. Even magnolias will have a red seed in them, so some fall color. All right, so now we're gonna jump over to Frank's favorite, yet another combination on the F word. Oops, that sounded bad. Okay, so we're gonna jump over to Simpson Stopper, uh, one of my favorites. Um, in the spring, it'll have white fragrant flowers um, that can attract butterflies, bees, and birds. Um, and the new growth is what um, really attracts me to it, is you can see this kind of pale chartreuse to almost a burgundy color in the leaves. Now, speaking of the leaves, and I recommend this uh, on a lot of things, especially natives, you'll tend to be able to identify it if you crush the leaf and you can tell by the scent. That's some good stuff right there, folks. Um, so they're fragrant when they're crushed, kind of a spicy, citrusy scent, almost a nutmeggy scent. Uh, now the Simpson Sopper can be a shrub or a small tree. There is a compact variety. Uh, when it gets to be a, up to a small tree size, you will get some exfoliating bark. Don't forget, ladies and gents, that exfoliating is important. Keep you looking sharp. And uh, getting back to the tree, I'm sorry. Um, so exfoliating bark, uh, really pretty, can get up to 20 feet. All right, hey guys, that's it for this Monday Morning Minute. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got questions, comments, or concerns, uh, please let us know. We're out there on social media. Thanks a lot. Take care.